Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. I have been so inspired. I just turn on the camera and I'm going for it. So I'm going to set this aside for a second. My inspiration today comes from two things. Last week's project, which I fell in love with and cannot stop thinking about and have so many plans to do a series of, and I'll leave the link above for you to check that out if you haven't seen it. It's the textured one, um, the hit passage of time. And I was inspired by um, artist um, Saj Sanj Ard. I'll correct that. Um, but uh, I am in love with that piece and want to do about a thousand more right now. But this week, as I was um, getting things together, I'm going to zoom in here real quick. As I was doing other things and just, you know, general work and stuff like that, um, I got my, uh, what is this? this is um, the ephemera book from Uppercase. That's it. Uh, that's what I was looking for, Uppercase. And oh my goodness. What a delight! Look at uh, look at all the places I have marked. So it's just it's ephemera. It's vintage papers on steroids. It's just so good. Everything about it is good, and it features artists that use papers, ephemera, old things, um, all different types of styles and artists and different things like that. And I'm gonna scooch this over just a tiny bit. Just, oh, I'm in love. So this artist, there's a couple artists that just really spoke to me. Her name is Eliza Bullock. Really great, just interesting, interesting things that, and the placement of just bits of paper. And I've explored this before and I always come back to it and it's, if I find it just incredibly interesting and brave. That, that's how it feels to me, brave. But the papers, the papers, oh my goodness. Okay, so then, of course I went through, like this is my kind, of, these are my people <laughs> in this book. Um, just stacks of papers, all of them, love it. Um, then, let's see, let me go back to this one. So Mr. Cup, um, if you are not familiar with him, he's on Instagram, but all of these are on Instagram. Uh, Kara Bullock, what's her name again? Was it Kara Bullock? Eliza Bullock. She's on Instagram as print paint. I'll, I'll make sure I print paint draw. And then this is Mr. Cup on Instagram. And he, I have yet to get any of his goodies because he does sales for vintage things. He, he goes to London oh, and gets the most amazing things. So... They're just yummy. Then this is Kareth Lisi, and she creates with old book covers. Uh, I mean, just, uh, she, she creates with all different kinds of things, like this. I love this. It's so simple, and I always overcomplicate things, I think. I don't know. I don't know what my problem is, but maybe, maybe that's not my problem. Maybe that's my gift. That's my style. But look at what she does with books. Just, she takes the pages and folds them. She uses the covers, the inside, the spine. You get little goodies too in this um, edition. But look at this, the old um, spines of the books that she takes apart for her art. Look at this piece right here. Ah, oh, so good. Oh my goodness. Just all the parts, all the things. I am in love. Look at all the, like the bindings of the books. Uh, so, and the, it talks about their process too. So this was a really great one. I continue to go back through it over and over and every time I do I find something new and exciting within it. So this is the Ephemera Encyclopedia from Uppercase. I will link that. Um, all the supplies will be linked on the blog and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. Okay, 
So that's my inspiration plus last week's. So what I thought I would do, because I have last week's project on the brain and I love, I love paper. I just love paper. So I'm going to zoom back out. And this is a 12 by 16 uh, birchwood panel. And I thought what I would do, this is my idea. I, yet, I don't know yet how it will go. But I want to create not as much texture as I did last week. Last week had layer upon layer upon layer of goodness. But I do want to use my um, Utrecht gesso and maybe some texture paste and the texture, the, the texture paste with sand because I loved that look. And in the in last week's piece, I placed one piece of um, paper into the um, all the texture that I had on there, and it kind of kind of encapsulated it a little bit. Well. I thought I would put, I would do that same thing, but on a bigger scale and make it the focal point. Um, I have gone through, these are all old book stuff and a couple of things from the collage packs. This is from old artwork that I had printed that I was looking at for inspiration. I cut that up. Um, old ledger, old books, um, some I tea stained. <clears throat> Um, postcard because postcard has message and that kind of stuff so my plan is to put my initial layer of texture down first my pr most likely will be my Utrecht gesso um, it's thick enough <clears throat> that I can get some good palette knife work and still um, and still get good texture as well <clears throat> So I'm not going to put any other paper down. Excuse me. <clears throat> I've been filming a ton, so I'm losing my voice. Plus, I've got a little bit of a cold. Um, I'm not going to put any paper down first. <clears throat> I'm going to just gesso it. I th well, I'm going to gesso it, just regular gesso. Then I'm going to hopefully put... This is my idea. I'm just I'm talking it out with you as I am, as I'm thinking it through. Just so first, then a, a wash of umber, then my my texture, then my texture, thick texture, and I'm gonna push my papers into the texture. Oh, I will use. I know I will use some crackle paint. Um, then I'm gonna put push my paper into the texture and let it dry. And then come back and add colors, most likely some Payne's Gray, because that's some of the color that's in some of this. Um, raw Umber, and probably some kind of rusty Burnt Sienna or Raw Sienna color in there. Real grungy, really grungy good. Um, and that is all I know right now. So, um, that is my, and, oh, and I do have a few other, like, bits of scrap paper that has some pattern that may make it into here. I don't know. My goal is to stay simple. I don't, I don't do that very well. But that's okay, too. If I don't do it well, then this must be a thing for me, and I, that's my style. So, that's what I'm planning to do. So, my goal is to um, try to keep it simple and yet still be me. And um, that's, we have to know what we love to know to, to, to be ourselves. And that's this whole discovery year is to know what I love so that I can just create as me. And it has been such an amazing journey couple of things before I go, just, I don't think I told you, because I, 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 I started the video different this today, um, kind of like last week because I was so excited. Coming up, by the time you see this video, on Wednesday after Sunday, that'll be the 23rd, November 23rd, the day before Thanksgiving. 
we'll be we'll start our annual um, Black Friday sale. It will go from Wednesday the 23rd through that following Monday, Cyber Monday. And everything in the shop will be 15% off. And that's notebooks, pillows, um, all everything will be 15% off just for those few days. And then um, hopefully you can get some good things for gift giving, prints on wood, prints to be framed. All, everything is 15% off, including stencils, every stencil. So just wanted to let you know that before, um, because it'll happen before my next Sunday video or my next Sunday email. So I wanted to let you know now. So, and I'll, I think I'll probably send out an email anyway. Okay, I wanted to tell you that all the supplies will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. Now, I hope that today you are curious and that you are learning and growing and knowing who you are. Because when we know who we are, we can, we can just be ourselves. And so often, um, I think so many of us walk around trying to be something else, some other version of ourselves, or, you know, we think about, um, and just kind of like me looking at all of the inspirational artists, I don't want to be like them. I want to be inspired by them and be me. And, um, I have had such an amazing journey this year with this and have really discovered so many things about my style. And um, I think it's always, always a learning experience every single day. And I so want that learning and growing process for you as well. Try everything. If you like what I do today, try it. Do it. It doesn't matter how it turns out. It just doesn't because you learn something in the process. And I know I've said this a thousand times this year, but so often I get emails saying, I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid. And I just want to say, what is there to be afraid about? If, if you make something that's terrible, who will know? You, you. But then you get to say, okay, well, that didn't work. How do I make it better? What don't I like? What do I like? And that's what I want for you. I want you to become unafraid and be you in your style, in your version, in your crazy whatever, because we're all a little weird. <laughs> and that's, that's perfectly wonderful. And so I just want to encourage you to go for it, whether it be art, or something else within your life. All right, my loves, I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful. Um, I hope that you are willing to step outside your comfort zone today and let go of the, the fear. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved. All right, I'm gonna get started.